Afternoon guys, so now we look at um, loans with changing conditions using the financial solver to analyse those. Um, we're going to look at a situation where you borrow $150,000 over 25 years, so maybe you're buying a house, be quite a small house, single bedroom, probably no bathroom and no kitchen, so good luck living in that. Um, $150,000 over 25 years at 6.8% per annum, compounding monthly. Let's have a look at the key details here. So we are... That's your amount over that long, that percentage, compounding monthly with monthly repayments. Then our changing condition is that after three years, our rate goes up. Okay, so the economy's flying, banks decide to put the rates up, Reserve Bank puts the rates up. So first thing we're going to look at is what the repayments are for the first three years. Okay, so part A. For the first three years, we want to find a payment. Okay, so in your financial solver, open that up. We want to find that. So therefore, we've got N value of 25 times 12 or 300. So you can put either of those in. We've got an I percent equal to 6.8 because it's the first rate. Present value, so what we start off with is equal to $150,000, the original principal of the loan. Final value we want, well we want to pay it all off in that 25 years, so our final value is going to be zero. Payments per year. We were told that we're paying off monthly, so that's 12. And compounding periods per year is also 12. Right. Punch all that in. Click on your payment. So solve for payment. And you'll get a value of negative 1041.1081 and that tells us that you're going to pay $1041.11 per month. All right. So as we've seen in some previous videos, that there is telling us that we're losing money, okay? So we're paying someone. Okay. Next up, part B. We want to know how much is owing after three years. So, we've got... We're going to rewrite N as 36 because it's 3 times 12. And we're going to clear the final value because that's what we want to know. Okay, we're going to solve for the final value. We're going to keep the repayments that we got in A. So 1041.11 will be left in A. So keep the repayments in A. Solve. For F V and you get a value of negative one hundred and forty two thousand three hundred and ninety one dollars ninety one cents. Now similar to earlier. That negative means that you owe someone money, so we need to make sure we're interpreting that. Okay, so what we owe is $142,391.91. Alright, 
Now, we have a rate rise as described. So part C, sweep a bit under that. Part C, we get a rate rise. What are the new monthly repayments after that? So for part C, we need to change a few things. All right, part C, N becomes 22 times 12, or 264, okay, because we want to keep the um, loan to be paid off over 25 years, so we've already paid three years of the loan off, okay, so we've got 22 of the 25 left, so 22 times 12 is 264, we can enter either of those, our I percent is equal to 7.2 now, the new rate. The present value is the value that we found in part B. Okay, so we found the present value after three years of our loan was 1, 4, 2, 391 dollars and 91 cents. Okay. That's a positive, okay? Note that the present value is a positive because that's money that we've been given by the bank. The future value, we want that to be zero. We want to um, pay the total loan off in that time. Okay, the payment. We want to leave that blank. We want to click on it and we want to solve it. Okay, now what we're going to get when we do that is a value, and that's all going to equal negative 1076.18. Now interpreting that, you should see that as it's a negative, it means our payments, what we're giving away, what we're paying is $1,076.18. Per month. All right. Hopefully that comes out okay. And you're following us along here. Okay. The next part we wanted to look at was how much extra that loan is going to cost us. Okay. So should be able to fit this in just here. Let's pop a line under that. So part C. What am I saying? Part C, part D. Alphabet's not going too well today. Part D. So we want to know what the how much extra this rate rise has cost us. So we do the new payment. Subtract the original amount we're paying. All right, so we'd have that equal to one thousand seven hundred. Sorry, one thousand seventy-six eighty-one, and we're going to take away one thousand forty-one to find the difference in those payments, and we get that we're actually paying thirty-five dollars and seven cents per month extra. Okay, and with that, the total extra paid is the extra each month multiplied by the number of payments. Okay. Okay, so how many payments we had? So we had an extra 35 dollars and seven cents times another 264 payments. So it's not the 25 years, it's the 22. And that comes out at an extra $9,258.48. Okay. 
So that's the extra that we're paying over the life of the loan. Last part of this, we we'll to work out what the interest we paid on it was. So the interest paid So the interest we paid is equal to the total cost of the loan. So the total cost minus the original value of the loan. Okay. And we can find that out by taking the repayments for the first three years, adding that to the payments for the next uh, 22 years, and subtracting our uh, cost after that. So subtracting our original amount of the loan. So you find that that total cost, so the payments that we've made, equate to $321,591.48. And we're going to take away what we borrowed in the first place, which is 150000 And that all comes to $171,000. $591.48. Okay, that gives you an idea of how expensive a loan is if you let it run its full term, depending on the interest rate. Okay, it's all there. So hopefully you've been able to run through your uh, financial solve on your calculator to help you out with all that. Uh, if you've got any questions, throw them online. I will throw these on YouTube as well, hopefully, so it should all work there. And yeah, hopefully that's gone well. Any problems, go back through the videos, have a look at the notes, or ask me some questions. Cheers, guys.